to the Alentia effect. The podcast where a strategy meets cybersecurity and game theory gives us the upper hand. I'm your host and today we're going to tackle something most SOCs get wrong from the very beginning. It's not the technology, it's not the budget, it's the structure. My recall is strategy number three, structure the SOC around the mission. Because a poorly structured SOC is like an army with no chain of command, confused, slow, and easy to beat. In this episode, we will cover why SOC structure matters more than your tech stack, what Mitre and Sans Blueprints recommend, a real incident where bad structure costs millions of dollars. How game theory exposes the structural flaws and what you can do to fix it. Let's do this. Imagine you are building a football team. You hire the best players. You buy the best equipment. But you don't define who's the striker, who's the defender, who's the coach. What happens? Everyone runs around, no strategy, no alignment, no goal. That's what happens when organizations build SOCs without clear structure. The team ends up doing everything and nothing at the same time. Reacting instead of strategizing. Burning out because there is no clear division of roles and responsibilities. The Sans Blueprint podcast puts it simply. The biggest mistake associates make is trying to do everything for everyone. Without a structure, the mission is blurry. And when the mission is blurry, the attackers win. So, what does Mike recommend? Here is how to structure an associate around the mission. Mission statement and scope. Before you define roles, define the mission. Are you focused on detection only? Do you handle incident response? Do you support compliance, threat hunting, or all of the above? Your structure must align with your mission priorities. Core function. At a minimum, your associate structure should include monitoring and detection team, incident response team, threat intelligence and hunting team, engineering and tools support, each with clear roles, accountability and escalations paths. Support functions, add support teams as needed, training and awareness, governance, risk and compliance liaison, SOC engineering. Your SOC is not just a monitoring room. It's a coordinated defense ecosystem. Let me share a real story. In 2020, a large financial institution suffered a data breach. They had a big associate, lots of people, modern tools. But during the breach investigation, one thing became clear. Nobody knew who was responsible for escalating incidents communicating with management, coordinating response across teams. Everyone thought someone else was handling it. The attackers exploited this confusion and exfiltrated sensitive data over three days. The breach cost them millions of dollars, not because of lack of detection, but because of lack of structure. The Sans Blueprint podcast reinforces this idea. If your associate doesn't know its own mission and structure, how can you expect them to protect yours? They highlight common structural mistakes. No clear mission statement. No separation between monitoring IR and engineering. No defined handoff process between detection and response. A messy associate structure creates blind spots. Attackers love blind spots. 
let's look at this structurally through game theory. Think of your SOC as a team in a cooperative game. Each player has their own move, but without clear roles, the game collapses into chaos. In an unstructured SOC, no player knows their optimal move. Coordination fails, the attacker plays a perfect divide and conquer strategy. But when roles and missions are clear, each player maximizes their own payoff. The SOC operates as a unified strategic team. The key structure eliminates ambiguity. Ambiguity is the attacker's greatest ally. If you don't structure your SOC around the mission, response times slow down. Team morale drops. Critical incidents fall through the cracks. Leadership loses trust in the SOC. You can have the best tech stack, but without a structure, your SOC will collapse under its own weight. Ask yourself, does our SOC have a clear mission statement? Are team roles and responsibilities defined? Are escalation paths clear? If you're unsure about any of these, you don't have a structured SOC. You have a collection of people doing their best without a playbook. Here's your action plan. Define and document your SOC's mission. Build your SOC structure around that mission. Assign clear roles and responsibilities. Ensure escalation paths are written, tested, and known to everyone. Educate stakeholders on how the SOC structure supports organizational defense. This is how you turn a chaotic team into a strategic defense force. Your SOC's strength isn't in the number of screens or alerts. It's in how clearly your team knows their mission and how well they're structured to deliver it. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your cybersecurity peers. And remember, stay safe, stay strategic, and until the next episode and the next strategy, keep playing the cybersecurity game smart. This is the Alentia Effect. Stay informed.